the program to demonstrate the use of checkboxes, radio buttons and spinners. The GUI has been set up. We have a radio group with family room 1200 per night and an indicative suite. We have the number of nights which is using a spinner. We have a group box for the check boxes, whether you can choose breakfast, dinner or both and the number of guests using the spinner. We have a button called process and a memo area. As you can see the GUI is already set up. I'm going to double click on process which will take me to my program. To save time I've declared my two variables I'm going to use accommodation and meals which are of type real. Firstly AC AC to get the variable just control space since it's been declared if the computer would pick that up and we're going to assign it to zero. So we're going to set the accommodation to zero then we're going to use the if statement, control space, and we're going to say if the radio button, just type in RBT, control space, I've named my radio button, radio button family, and radio button executive. Dot checked. If the radio button family is checked, then we're going to overwrite our accommodation AC to be assigned 1,200 rand. Using another if statement, control space, we're going to say that the other radio button, which is called control space executive, if that is checked, then we're going to set the accommodation control space, which is assigned 1,500 rand. Moving back to the design view, we'll notice that we've got to take the accommodation and multiply that by the number of nights. So we're going to get back to the program and we're going to now overwrite the accommodation AC. Accommodation will be assigned. Now we're going to get the value from the spinner. So it's SED, spinner edit, control space, that's the number of nights. Dot, and we use dot value, which takes it as an integer, so we don't need to convert. And we're going to multiply that, the number of nights they are choosing and we're going to multiply that by the original accommodation and that will work out our total accommodation we're now going to move on back to the GUI we're now going to calculate the meal price so returning to the code once again we're going to set the meals to zero and we're going to do a check now this is the check box that we are using CH control space can't pick it up, so let's try CK. CK is called if the checkbox breakfast dot checked. Then our meals is going to be assigned meals, and I'm going to use the same variable meals plus 120. We're also going to check now if control space. Now we're going to check the CKB once again, the checkbox called dinner. If that is checked, the user chooses that, then we're going to add to our meals. Meals is equal to meals plus 150 Rand. I'm just going to go back to the GUI and verify. You'll notice that the meals for dinner is 180 and not 120. So I'm going to return that and change that to 180. Returning to design view, we're now going to take the meals. Remember the user could choose breakfast and dinner, so we need to add that up, which we've done. We're now going to take the meals and multiply by the number of guests. So then I'm going to say whatever the meals figure is going to be overwritten. I'm going to say meals is assigned meals, whatever it is. And now we're going to multiply by the number of guests, and the number of guests comes from the spinner. EDT control space, it's, e, it's called SED guess. So we're going to take the meals. Sorry, we need to take it in. So we use dot value, which will take it as a type integer. If we return to the GUI, we take in the meals multiplied by the number of guests, but we also got to multiply that now by the number of nights. So we're going to return to our code and we're going to take that. And we're going to multiply that by the number of nights, SED, control space. 
going to be the number of nights dot spinner so we're going to use dot value and that will calculate the total meal okay we're now going to output on our memo box and to output the values we're going to say memo control space it's called memo one dot lines l for lines dot add and we want to put a message so we're going to say accommodation join that to the value of accommodations we're going to use a float conversion we're going to convert the float to string fl control space and we're going to say accommodation it's one c for accommodation and that will output the me the a message called accommodation together with the value of our accommodation we're now going to output the meals and code to output the meals is memo one dot lines dot add message meals plus we are outputting the value of meals we are outputting in a GUI which is of a text or string so we're going to convert a real to a string using float to str okay we've outputted the accommodation the meals we're now going to output the meals together with the accommodation the total price and I've used ACC it should be accommodation and I'm going to press ctrl D to indent that and make it look neat I'm now ready to run my program and see if it works so accommodation we're going to choose a family room one night to start off I need to go and set my boundaries which I haven't done for the spinner we'll do that a little later and I'm going to choose breakfast and I'm going to choose a number of guests just to start off with one and we process that accommodation 1000 rand meals 120 number of guests so we're going to take 1200 plus 120 times 320 if i change that to two nights you'll notice the amount doubles to 2640 so i've kept kept the uh, previous output there now to clear that and to make that look a little neater what we can go back to our code and at the start of the program or this before we actually output we can say memo control space memo one dot and the command is clear so we will clear each time it'll run control D to indent and that will be looking much neater so if we choose that or if we choose executive we choose two nights there we choose breakfast and dinner and now we can go with two guests and if we process it will give us our total accommodation there 1500 times 2 is 3000 breakfast plus dinner adds up to 300 times two guests that will give us meals to be 600 and not 1200 the reason why it's 1200 is multiplying by the number of nights that gives us a total of 4200